Okay, I'm I'm uh, charging my 2000 Honda Insight nickel metal high dry batteries, and looks like it took. Uh, about 30 minutes to charge 9.58 amp hours in one stick pack which is six D cell size batteries that's a pretty high amp hour 9.5 um, here's the other battery also 9.5 which also took about 30 minutes at 20 amps. Let's look at the voltage. Here's amps versus time. Uh, went straight to 20 at a couple minutes and it took about 30 minutes. Um, Let's see what else we have. Cell volts versus time. Here's the voltage. In seven minutes, it dropped down after being at about 1.45 maybe. Uh, then went back up and then down. Let's see the other one. Let's see volts. Yep, graph looks the same. That's good. Consistency. Good. Okay, and here's the chargers I'm using by FMA Direct. Uh, let me turn the fan off. These chargers are Cell Pro. Power Lab 8 1000 watt chargers. There was a uh, firmware update that made them 1344 watts now. So these can charge at 40 amps each. Uh, today I'm doing 20 amps each using 10 gauge wire. Here are the cells. The, the 2000 through 2006, I believe, Honda Insight hybrid. Um, uses 20 of these. 20 of these, we call them sticks, stick packs. These are D-size cell batteries, nickel metal hydride chemistry, but they are not like the ones you would put in a flashlight. These are high powered. Um, I believe they can take a 50 amp charge and a 100 amp discharge. Don't quote me on that. I just know they're very high powered. I have the fan sitting right on them to keep them cool. Uh, let's see what their temperatures are. Temperature... This one's 140. 135.8. One nineteen point two, one fourteen, one fifteen, one thirteen, one twenty one, one nineteen, one eighteen, one twenty, one nineteen, one sixteen. I believe this one was the these were more hot here. 138, 136. Yeah, these are hotter. Uh, I believe that's a sign that the cells may have may have uh, have more wear on those there. That's okay. I can do that later. So anyway, here's the um, here's the the entire si system here. These batteries slide into these little compartments here. See, they slide into there. 
And there's all the cells. So I just am sliding these out one at a time and cycling them. This is the power supply that is powering these two chargers. It is, I believe, 12.8 volts, 750 watts. And I believe that's all I wanted to show today at this moment. Um, this is very nice system to, to be able to use, to be able to plug the chargers into, via USB, into the computer. And it comes with a free software with the computer, with the uh, chargers to, uh, you know, view your charging graphs and that's pack current, 20 amps. Let's see, uh, capacity, 9.58, I believe. We saw that already. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm just showing this so people can see that um, basically what's inside the Honda Insight. Uh, the entire battery pack as a unit uh, weighs approximately 70 pounds. And I learned to do this by reading on Insight Central, which is a forum that's free to use. A lot of great information on there. And I just studied the information. And I didn't even post anything yet. I just, I didn't, I didn't even have to ask any questions. I just read it. There was, the, the information was so, so detailed that I was able to trust what I read to, to feel comfortable with uh, doing this myself instead of paying someone to do it. Have a good day. Also, I'll be making a video of the Honda Insight. By the way, I am driving the Honda Insight without the hybrid battery. Um, there's a way to bypass the hybrid system on that car and just drive it off of the one liter three cylinder VTEC motor. Basically a high performance small motor. I'm still getting 50 miles per gallon. That's five zero miles per gallon with the air conditioning on. With this hybrid battery in the car, the car averages 70 miles per gallon. So, you know, the car weighs 1,800 pounds. Very light for a car. It's all aluminum. Um, I believe the car cost approximately $32,000 to make and sold for, I believe, between 19 and 21,000. So Honda lost a lot of money on selling those, but it was to get the technology out there. And as you can see, the cars, the uh, the Honda Insight has changed in body style, but it's still a very popular model. Have a good day. Bye.